In this video, we'll explore how to use NVIDIA Tensor RT for production deployment of a multi-layer perceptron-based recommender system. Tensor RT is a programmable inference accelerator that takes in a trained neural network as input and generates an optimized runtime engine. The easiest way to get started with Tensor RT is the container in the NVIDIA GPU cloud. Once you install TensorRT, you can find various samples under the Samples directory. Today, let's focus on steps needed to accelerate the inference of recommenders by looking at the Movie Lens sample. This sample uses the Movie Lens 1 million dataset. The training model uses the multilayer perceptrons to recapture the relationship between users and movie ratings. As you can see, there are three types of layers. The first is the constant layer, which represents weights and embeddings. The second is the concat layer, which fuses the user and item embeddings. And finally, these are the multilayer perceptrons with ReLU activations. Now that you have a grasp of the model structure, let's walk through the code to optimize this model with TensorRT. We have trained the model in TensorFlow and exported the required files to this directory. You can see a protobuf file and a movie ratings file, which we'll use as test data to evaluate our optimized engine. There are six steps in this optimization. First step is to import the TensorFlow model into TensorRT. For this, we should convert the protobuf file into a universal framework format, which is a required intermediate representation. We made this process easy for you. With the help of this single command, you can convert the protobuf file to UFF format. We specify the path to the input file here. This is the output file name, and this is the output. Next step is to parse the UFF file and populate the TensorRT network. For this, we have to create the parser object and register user input, movie input, and network output which is the prediction or sigmoid layer. Create a builder and an empty network. Now parse the UFF file and generate the complete network. Now let's look at how to add an additional top K layer to a trained model to only consider the first K probabilities and remove the lower ones. To add this extra layer, first retrieve the last layer of the present network. To meet the top K layer input requirements, we'll reshape the present four-dimensional output of the fully connected layer to three dimensions. Add the top K layer to retrieve only the highest K item probabilities. Now specify the top K tensors as outputs. Output 0 is the probability that the movie will be recommended to the user. Output 1 is the movie ID. Here we're expecting the movie ID to be a 32-bit integer. And that's it. Now we're ready with our new customized network. The next step is to build the engine by specifying the total number of users or the batch size and the workspace size. Once the engine is built, we can destroy the network, builder, and parser. Actually, we can directly use the above engine to perform inference, or you can also serialize it for later use we have provided a helper function for copying the data to the shared buffer. Later, when you want to retrieve the engine, you can use this helper function to get the serialized engine from the shared memory. To retrieve the engine from the serialized format, we must deserialize it using a tensor RT runtime. The final step is to run the engine. This involves three things. First, we need to transfer the inputs to the device memory. Next, we need to do inference. Finally, we need to transfer the outputs back to the host memory. We've provided a helper function that performs these three steps in a batch. Now let's run the sample and see the inference results. Here you can see the time for each process running inference with a batch size of 128. At present, this model is deployed with FP32 precision. You can use lower precision to reduce the inference time. This can be done by changing the precision type in the config file to kfloat for FP32 and khalf for FP16. 
To summarize, we've learned how to import a trained TensorFlow model into TensorRT with the UFF parser, either in full precision or half precision. Then we explored how to add an additional layer to the trained network, build the engine, serialize, and deserialize it, and finally run inference with the optimized engine. Download TensorRT today and accelerate inference of your deep learning-based applications.